Here's another example that's not too hard. We're told to convert 27 feet per day to yards per day. And just pay attention to the thought process. I'll say it out loud as I solve this. You start off, you always start off by writing down the thing that you're given, in this case 27 feet per day. Now we want to convert it to yards per day. So I need to get rid of the feet up here and get yards. So to do that, I'm going to need to put feet down here so that this will cancel out with that and I'm going to need to have yards up top. So I, I actually write these units in here before I put in the numbers and then I need to get the conversion factor. How many yards is equal to how many feet? Well I know this one off the top of my head, I don't even have to look it up. I know that one yard is equal to three feet and just make sure you don't accidentally write those backwards. Three yards is obviously not one foot so just don't, that's just an easy mistake to make, so be careful. I know one yard is equal to three feet. Now one yard is equal to three feet, so this fraction is therefore equal to one. So I'm just multiplying by one. So it doesn't really change the speed any, but it does change the units because the feet here cancel out, leaving me with yards in the numerator and day in the denominator. Now my answer is going to be this. I have a 27 here and this 3 is in the denominator. Remember that the fraction bar means division. So you need to think to yourself 27 divided by 3. That's your answer. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 what? 9 yards per day. You can see the units that remain after all the others have canceled. So you write down 9 yards per day and that's your answer.